Hello everybody, my name is Zhong Li Kang, or you can also call me Tommy. That's my nickname. I am nine years old and I'm from Vietnam Ho Chi Minh City. Today, I'm going to tell you about the amazing benefits of reading. So are you ready? Let's start. First, I'm going to talk about how I developed the <clears throat> habit of reading. First, I'm going to start off when I was in kindergarten. At that time, every parent or grandparent reads their ch child or grandchild a bedtime story, right? That's how I developed the habit of reading books. After my age of listening to bedtime stories, I started reading picture books. This was because that I didn't know a lot of words at that time. So mainly, I just looked at the pictures. When I started second and third grade, I started learning lots of words and read word or word books or books without words. Now, <clears throat> second of all, I will tell you about the benefits of reading. Uh, you might think it's the benefits of reading books an hour a day or benefits of reading fiction books, but it's actually together. This is the first benefits of books. The first benefits of books is when you read books, of course, books help you broaden your mind. You can look into any perspective of your amazing ability to learn when you are a child. Second of all, <clears throat> the benefits of book, the second benefits of books is they, <clears throat> they can help you have knowledge or ideas <clears throat> to do exercises that you might find difficult in your future. They could help you learn the way to <clears throat> express your ideas and to be confident your, to, in your ideas in some group chats <clears throat> in your future job as well. Second of all, third of all, I'm going to tell you ways that books are important to you. Do you know any ways? Well, <clears throat> First, one way that books help you is that they help you broaden your horizon. Like I said, look into different perspectives for learning. Second of all, <clears throat> another way that books, that books could help you is that they could help you open a door. It's not like opening a door to a closet or any room but it will open a door to a, a, an amazing world filled with happiness and joy for reading books also filled with knowledge and <clears throat> intelligence next of all i am going to tell you about <clears throat> about amazing books to read do you know what are some books? Well, here's a book that I would like to tell you about. It is What Science Are All About. So this is one of the types of books that you want to read. These are science books. Science books, like I said, help you have more knowledge. If you want to be a scientist, a geologist, or any other <clears throat> studying job <clears throat> also you could read adventure stories for example <clears throat> adventuring the amazon forest like this book <clears throat> when we dive into adventure stories we could actually see ourselves standing right in that perspective looking around like you're just dreaming that you would be there. Now, 
I'm going to t I'm going to tell you <clears throat> how you could <clears throat> access to Audible books. So, like I said, when you read books, you have knowledge. When you hear Audible books, you also get knowledge. But it's not. It doesn't have as much as the high knowledge as reading books. This is because that when you read books out loud, you read them in your mind, and you listen to your voice saying the book. Then you will remember the knowledge of the book more and more deep, deeper. But if you just listen to the book and read it in your mind, listen to the sound from the computer or any other device, then you would only remember half of it. So you're less smarter when you hear an audible book than when you're reading a regular book. So you have to assess the audible books less than regular books. So thank you for listening.